This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to add closed captions to a video. Bill asks, how can I add closed captions to my video? And the answer is, you need to create an SRT file and then use closed caption software. There are four steps to creating closed captions. First, you need to create the transcript, either using a transcription house or an automated cloud service. Next, create an SRT file. And most of the time, this is done when the transcript is created. Next, review the transcript and correct errors. And finally, connect the SRT file to the video using closed caption software, then tweak the captions to make them look the way you want. Closed caption files are almost always separate from the video file. Let me show you. This is a movie that uh, I created for one of my webinars on creating simple effects in Final Cut Pro 10. And I use this as a, a sample to do closed captions for. Recently, I did a product review of a website called Simon Says, which automates the process of transcription. So I fed this file over to the Simon Says website, and it came back with some transcripts. It came back with a Word document, came back with a CSV file, which allowed me to open it up inside Excel, but it also came back with a zip file, which contains an SRT file. That's this right here. When you unzip the file, we now see the SRT file. The problem is, if we look at the icon for that, it gives us this EXEC means that it's an executable, a program, and can't be opened by anything. It's not totally true. If we control click on the file and say open with text edit, we can see that the SRT file is a very specifically formatted text file. It's pure text, but it's in a very specific format. First, there's a number that indicates the number of the, the closed caption. Starting time code, the comma represents thousandths of a second, and ending time code. Then the text itself, and then a space, and we do the whole thing again. Because this is a text document, I can go through here and I can correct errors in the text. I can change spacing and I can move the text around. In this particular case, I won't do that. By the way, if you're working with transcription houses where people rather than machines transcribe, you just have to ask for an SRT format. It's a very popular format specifically designed for closed captions. So let's just close this. First step is to get it transcribed. The second step is to get an SRT file created and then review the SRT file for accuracy, typos, and spelling errors. There's a number of different pieces of software you can use to actually create the captions. Telestream has one called Mac Caption, but there's another called Movie Captioner, which is much cheaper, and it's what I'm going to use now. There it is, Movie Captioner. This is the window, and I'm not going to go through a full demo of this because there's a whole lot of controls that we have on this in terms of formatting and placement and timing and text, but I do want to show the basics. First thing I'm going to do is click the Load Movie button, go to the desktop, find the movie that I want to bring in, and say Open. It says, where do you want to autosave your project? I'm going to save it to the Documents folder. And it says, your video is awfully big. We don't need to have a video that's that big when we're doing captions. It recommends getting MPEG Stream Clip, but remember, MPEG Stream Clip is going to start to have problems with OS 10, 12, or later. So in this case, I'm going to click Close. And there's my movie, and if I hit the space bar, I can play it and see what the movie is about. In this case, we're going to leave it alone. The next thing is we want to import the SRT file. Click Import. These are the different formats that it supports. SRT is popular, common, and best of all, because it's a text file, it's easy to edit. I'm going to import the SRT file, which is stored inside Transcripts, SRT, click Open, and there is the SRT file. Each of the, each of the captions is assigned a timecode value. And you can now preview what these captions look like, including their formatting over here to make the text big enough that you can read by clicking the preview button. 
The problem is, when I do, and this is not the fault of the software, my video is 1280 by 720, and my screen for this webinar is also 1280 by 720, which means that you can't see the full media, and the, the text is down here just off the bottom of the screen where you can't see it, and I can't size the video to show it to you. This is why I was recommending that you make the video smaller than 1280. Well, if my screen is its normal size, which is about 2,500 pixels across, then I can see the captions easily. But in this case, because I'm running the screen very small, we can't. Here I can go through, change the timing of my titles, I can change the text, I can work on it as much as I want, preview it. Then when you're ready to go, you export the movie and it creates what's called a sidecar file. A sidecar file is a separate file specifically designed for captions because you don't want to burn the captions into the video. You want to be able to enable or disable the captions depending upon whether you want to see or not see them. So Movie Captioner allows you to bring in the SRT file, check the formatting of the captions, check the timing of the captions, tweak everything, and then export it so you can either send the file to YouTube, which will read an SRT file and display it on the screen, or you can burn it into a DVD, or you can bundle it up with your, your video, depending upon the player that you're using, and enable captions or not. So it's a multi-step process, but it can easily be done. The hard part is getting the SRT file created in the first place. And whether you use a transcription house or automated software, once you have the SRT file, there are lots of options, and Movie Captioner is a good low-cost one, to be able to do exactly that. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 230. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,600 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and easy to view. Plus, premium members can now access sample media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it several times a month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.